Hi everyone, uh, guess what? Today we're going to leave the gym and we're going on a road trip. So I've been chatting to one of my followers, Lee. Uh, he's been building a gym. He was asking me some questions across Instagram and, and YouTube about my rack and various things. And we worked out we were about an hour away from each other. So today we're going to jump in the car. We're going to go and have a, a tour of Lee's gym. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a little workout to go for as well. So just a couple of minutes away from Lee's house. I'm a few minutes early, so uh, I thought I might just have a quick little think about what happens next. So first time, I guess, visiting uh, someone else's garage gym with the exception of my friend Mostyn. Um, so I'm excited about seeing someone else's garage gym. And um, first time visiting a follower, I guess. So somebody who's followed me because I made these channels. Um, who I've never met before. So we share a, share an interest. I'm really excited to go and find out more about why Lee built his gym and how he did it and why he bought the things that he bought. And, uh, and I'm excited to have a little workout. Hey, so I finally made it to Lee's. Uh, we have spent probably an hour just chatting and gossiping. Um, so we've got to try and weave some of that gossip into our, into our video. So this is Lee. Hi Abby, I'm Lee, um, and this I'm a YouTube virgin, so this is my first ever video, courtesy of the Garage Gym Geek. Thanks Fine. for finally meeting you. Oh, it's been good. So, Lee's, Lee's first ever YouTube appearance. We'll try and make it painless. Um, I've got my arms folded because it's still a little bit cold. It's seven, it's seven and a half degrees. Seven and a half degrees, but we'll be warm soon because we're going to work out. But um, I've had my coat on, I've had a coffee. Lee's been a great host. So what we're going to do, we'll have a little Q&A with Lee. I've done some footage of what the gym looks like, so um, we'll cut that in and we'll have a little walk around Lee's gym. But I guess what most people want to know is why have you built your own gym? Good question. Um, so I was an engineer in food factories and I still am for the best part of 30 years. Predominantly background was martial arts and the teenagers. And put a bit of weight on like we all do, discovered beer and chips at 18, smoking etc. Then got into cycling and my passion has always been cycling and running. Um, I'm sort of built for endurance, got into triathlon in my 40s, got reasonably good at triathlon, um, sacked all that off and I moved house. So yeah, so, so Lee has effectively built a purpose built gym in the garden. So. He's got, he's got a double garage, which is rare for the UK, so he's got twice as much space as me. Um, but although he discovered beer and chips at 18 and has abandoned them for a little while to build to build his endurance physique, he's rediscovered beer, he's brewing beer in the garage. Yeah. And he's fixing bikes in the garage, and bikes everywhere. So so he couldn't use that as a gym, so he's built, he's built another space and it's really nice. You'll see as we tour around uh, what he's done. He's got future plans for it, which we'll talk about in a minute. I've already spotted the Karate Kid poster and the Arnie, the Arnold Schwarzenegger bodybuilding Bible, and I can see Lee's got some Iron Man race numbers and stuff. So there's, there's definitely, you know, I'm, I, I'm very much into my powerlifting and my strong man and, and, you know, that kind of thing. Lee's very much into endurance yeah. and cycling and running and, and, and sort of, you know, maybe ultra running, maybe there's something yeah, there. Yeah, long down a marathon in. Uh... Brighton yeah. in April, my first ever marathon, done loads of half marathons, but I think now I'm in the mid 40s, I want to be more of that, uh, you know, you start losing muscle mass. Yeah. I've always liked weightlifting, but never been that good at it. But after doing the P, level three PT course, it gets, you, you know, understand more of the physics and the mechanics and the benefits. And uh, yeah, I'm never going to be a strong man or a power lifter, but I'd certainly like to be a little, I want to do less of the running and cycling, although I yeah. still, you know, I, I love it, but I want to 
I want to do more of the strength and conditioning work, to be honest, and just turn up and be able to enjoy my beers. So your um, your rack looks remarkably like my rack. Yeah. Um, so what got Lee and I chatting on social media was, uh, I did a video review of this rack. It's called the Muscle Squad P2 Freestanding Folding Rack. And it took me a long time to get that when I did my video. Um, so I bought this rack and I did this really geeky, in-depth review video. Great um, video, by the way. Lee liked it, so he watched it. And, and Lee's like me, he wants to spend, if he's gonna spend some money, he wants bang for buck. It doesn't have to be the best thing, it has to be the best thing for that amount of money, for the space, for the for the thing that you Brilliant. want out of it. And we both agree this is it. So Lee, I'm behind the camera now, so a bit freer, but it's a fabulous gym that you've built so far, but there's always this question, isn't there? What would you do differently? If you were gonna do it all again, would you change anything? Uh, definitely, Andy, good question. Um, when I was training in the height of the sun, even though I've got these fabulous bifold doors, which really good value, and I bought, I found a company on Instagram, lots of home gyms are using them, 1500 quid, which is a bargain. The air doesn't flow, so in the height of the sun, I've got this great clock of Amazon, I'm blind as a bat, so it's got really big, you can see that it gives you the temperature, I think 30 pounds for that yeah. clock. Um, in the height of the sun, I came out one uh, evening and it was 33 degrees, and even though I had the doors open, all the mozzies and the moths, so I put these skylights in to give a uh, feature, some extra light, give them more modern approach. And I skimmed a bit, I've just got the skylights that are sealed. I really wish I'd have got the opening one, so the heat with the bike, the, the air would have flowed. But um, yeah. I put a fused spur in, so I've got the provisions to put an air conditioning unit in. So when the funds are available, I'm gonna have a proper like, air con unit on the wall, which will heat and cool like obviously cold today hot in the um, summer, so save some money, air conditioning is a must. Um, I need to change maybe the geographic, so the, the, the rack, this fabulous rack we've been talking about, I might put it somewhere else, I need to get some more mirrors, but they're, they're quite expensive. Even they're not cheap, are they? eBay. Yeah. But yeah, not too much really, uh, air con and opening roof lights is uh, probably the only things I've changed, so I'm pretty um, pleased with the the rest of it, the space is great. Um, it sort of works well in the garden. I've got more than enough uh, sort of capacity left to put additional stuff. Obviously we've got my wife's stuff. So the reason we put a TV in the gym is my wife does the Les Mills online. As oh yeah. The Les Mills app, so you can see all, this is her apparatus here, so she works out in the daytime. Um, I might put the whiteboard on the wall, but that's just sort of my little um, workout, put my doors on a little um, <laughs> sketch on there. And... Yeah, I like that. So is it an accurate representation? <laughs> well, got three, three massive biceps <laughs> on one strong hand. I love it. Yeah. Uh, one day, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got some reference. This is good. It's got an Ikea unit. Yeah, and the reason for this is all your accessories and your, the textbooks that me and my wife have collected over the years. I've got the Arnie Bible, triathlon, nutrition, dumbbell, kettlebell workouts. A um, couple of certificates up here. I've got my PT and my um, kettlebell certification. Uh, this is a half Ironman I did in Weymouth when I was 43. Three, I nearly drowned. So <laughs> then, then I um, sold all my triathlon. So I actually sold my triathlon bike to pay for the um, to pay for the rack at the barbell. So the barbell is a big gym, and I bought that on your recommendation, Andy. Oh uh, yeah, thousand. yeah, it's a cracking. I really like that barbell. I think it's really good. Yeah, so big gym, Amazon. Yeah, it's tucked around the back there. And, and the barbell plates were off Wolverson, and these were probably the best value I could find. Um, 100 kg package, and they're nice and narrow, like the ones that you did a video on. Uh, I'm a bit OCD, so I need to get the kettlebell uh, storage rack. So if anyone's got one, go on, uh, give me a shout. I've been looking at a mirror fit one. Um, I need to put the dip bar on the wall, but I'm a bit reluctant to drill too many holes in the freshly passed walls till I'm decided where everything's going. I want to get a hex bar for deadlifts and I need to get a new weight bench because that's just a really old one 
that I've had for years. I want to get a more adjustable fit, you know, flat incline, decline. And I want to get some Bruce Lee artwork on the walls. It needs some colour. And obviously Bruce Lee had lots of motivational speeches. Neat, and there's some really cool artwork I've seen on Etsy and eBay. So a couple of Bruce Lee. Oh, and a punch bag I bought. Like, I tend to buy stuff every time I get paid. And this <laughs> yep. is my treat last payday and I've just been slacking up and put it up yet. So I might even do that this afternoon. Perfect, yeah. Another another little thing to add to the gym. It's amazing how um, yeah, you get paid especially Black Friday this, uh, this month, get paid and go, what, what can I add? Yeah, I did that. Adjustable dumbbells found their way into my gym this month. Yeah, they look great, the muscle squad. I enjoyed your video. Yeah, they're very good. I see you've got the, you've got the Bowflex ones, yeah, I which... Yeah, uh, I've uh, got them off Fitness Superstore about six years ago. Um, the stand is actually a eBay special, like a tenner. Well, in the spirit of making an honest video, we've definitely just finished working out, got a bit of the shakes. So we've done 80 minutes, but we have been chatting and uh, yeah. <laughs> working out how to set safeties up because we're very different heights and things, we've had to move safeties up and down. But we've had a good squat session, we've pushed it, we've had a good bench, and we've had uh, some landline rows, a few pull-ups. So I think we've explored yeah, we've explored Lee's gym, there's still so much more in here that we could play with and I predict this isn't the last time we'll have a little workout. And if you've got any questions for me or for Lee, bung them in the comment section and uh, we'll both watch them and we can, we can respond and answer your questions. But thanks Lee. Cheers Andy. Any last nuggets of wisdom? Well, you uh, certainly inspired me to push a bit harder because I'm usually solo training. Uh, gave me a few ideas and techniques. So yeah, it's been a pleasure. Okay, thanks very much. Good.